it's like um, it's like a sport almost. You know, people are kind of getting filled with adrenaline. The moment when the exit pole breaks is, I mean, it is. It's an astonishing moment actually. I think it's exciting because I think nobody. We genuinely don't know what's going to happen. And I think in the past, journalists have been a little bit complacent. They relied on polls and they felt that in their heart of hearts they knew what the result was going to be. But I think all of us this time are genuinely thinking, we just don't know. We wouldn't have put any money on anything. Uh, so it is a genuinely exciting thing to, to be reporting on something when you just don't know the outcome. You don't really have an inkling. I think what I want this show, this show is about pace and energy and freshness which is quite a big thing to achieve at 3am in the morning when you've been up, been up all day and all night. Um, but I think that Sky is a fleet of foot operation that's very fast, very accurate. Um, we kind of tell you as it is, and I, I'd like to think that people watching the programme tonight feel they're kind of sat down on the sofa with perhaps a, a, a nice cheeky wine and, um, and a good bunch of clever mates talk, talking through the night. Well, it's unexpected, so it's happened uh, rather more quickly than we thought uh, when we did all this uh, two years ago. Um, and uh, as ever, it's democracy in action. It's going to change uh, the face of the country, the face of the government. Uh, so uh, actually having the opportunity to uh, bring in the results and really to know first what's going on is, is very exciting. Well, I think, you know, we're at the back of shot, as you can see. So it just keeps the coverage really immediate, quite buzzy. Um, and, you know, we get 250 declarations just from, you know, the Sky 250 project um, and that's sort of on top of the 30 um, OBs that we're doing as well. So we have so many coming in overnight. It's going to be really fast paced and it should be good fun and, you know, really up to date and immediate coverage of, um, of the election. Um, the crucial thing, of course, we're waiting for is our exit poll. And that's the moment, as I think I said to you when we spoke before, I really feel like, you know, the first hour of us being on air is like the plane going down the runway, and then that exit pole moment is when the plane takes off. And I suppose, you know, to continue the analogy, you know, depending on what the exit pole says, it depends what destination the plane's going to be going to. So it's very much, um, you know, the, uh, yeah, making sure everything's working, everyone's up to pace, we have a fantastic and pacey first hour, and then it literally just takes us wherever, wherever it takes us. So I was very lucky to be in that room hearing the exit poll result half an hour before everybody else. Uh, and I think when the exit poll came through tonight we were quite surprised at what the figures were showing, which was that actually the Conservatives haven't done as well as expected, that Labour had done better than expected. And of course at the moment we're in the process of adapting our plans to kind of cover that story. Was it interesting enough, I was one of the um, small team of Sky News staff who was in the room when the exit poll numbers were coming in, so I had to write our script in time for 10pm, which we then distributed to all the commercial radio news teams for them to use at 10 o'clock, and it was a very dramatic moment when we got the, um, got the numbers, because obviously it went against what much of the expectation was. And so as a result now, we're already thinking, you know, what next, if the exit poll uh, proves to be completely accurate, then we are in a really uncertain territory, which could mean all sorts of things. With Brexit on the horizon, the discussions could be put back, the, the government needs to be formed, is it going to be minority, coalition, etc. There's always a surprise okay. in anything like this. All right, uh, you. So, you know, we've already started to move cameras around, we've perhaps decided that some counts aren't quite the ones we're after, maybe there are others, given the results of the exit poll, that are going to be a little bit more interesting. So. We have already just started to unpick a couple of things and starting to send people driving into the night off to different places to try and get different people who we think might be quite interesting, who might be in danger of losing their seat, uh, who we weren't expecting beforehand. So, um, yeah, lots of moving parts going on at the moment. Uh, I'm, I'm very aware that we're going to end up with lots of people saying the poll's got it wrong again, and that's true for some of the pollsters. I think if the exit poll is right, then there are some pollsters who have a bit of egg on their face. Like lots of people who've done some very clever stuff with turnout modelling based on last time what would have worked well in the last general election but looks like it might not work have worked as well this time around because young people have seemingly have turned up to vote uh, a little bit more than they did last time uh, there are some pollsters that look like they've got it right and actually got an awful lot of flack during the campaign for saying that they thought it was going to be a hung parliament or something like it or a, you know, a much smaller Tory majority if there is one. These are times of real change in the United Kingdom and uh, what happens tonight I think is going to have a, you know, a real bearing on what happens not just in England and Wales but in Scotland and in Northern Ireland.